this here place is special. You know, it's like my sanctuary, it's my home. When I was growing up, I used to come here a lot. And the boys that I grew up with, they would spend their time in the streets. But for me, it took me away from a whole lot of ills. So I always was fed up, always was good. Spending time here, sweating, get home, get some sleep, wake up the next day, do the same thing. That meant no drugs, man. And then the tar has been eaten away. So when it rains, it keeps eating away. We cover this with cement, but in the edges, it keeps like falling away. So when we play, somebody may just step into the portal and then they lose their footing and then they lose their ankle. Yeah, but the portals, they are a danger. They're dangerous. Is that my boy? I mean, when Hoops Hall came along, it changed, it changed the whole game here in Zimbabwe. Not just Glenby, but the whole of Zimbabwe. The whole of Zimbabwe. Now you have kids who are like well aware of the environment and how they live. They want to live positively to Hoops for Hope. And I have so much respect for that. So much respect for Hoops for Hope. The poets, the women, and the orphans torn. I miss them all like old opportunities gone. What of the elders, storytellers, and abandoned homes?